perfectionism is poison. That's what my mentor on YouTube, Roberto Blake, just came up with today in his newest video. And that made me think a lot. I personally tend to be a perfectionist. If you also are, then I hope this video can help you. There is no such thing as perfection, that's for sure. That's what human beings and philosophers have been telling since 2000 years. But still, as human beings, for some reason, we try to strive for perfection. And I must say, most of the cases, or at least that's how it works for me, perfectionism is really poison. It's what blocks me to do things, to get the things done. Because I want it to be perfect, but that takes up so much work. And the actual result is not even much better than what it would have been if I did it in half of the time. So the consequences of striving for perfections are usually bad. So my best advice is just start. We always try to find the best time for doing stuff. But the reality is that usually there is not the best time for doing stuff. There is just a fairly right time. So I don't say that you have to fully force yourself in doing things that you absolutely don't feel prepared for. But I believe the best thing is to be aware that there will never be a completely right time to do things. And usually you have to push yourself a little bit to do something, even if you don't feel completely prepared for doing it. So for example, in these days, I'm still in Canada. I am very busy because I'm always around people. I'm visiting a lot of friends. And I must say, I'm not working so much because I feel like my days are worth to be spent with friends. So I just have a few hours a day to work and that's not really enough to plan my videos and to create great content. But today I was doing some research on YouTube and I came across this super adventurous young German YouTuber and especially I watched one of his videos which is titled... What is it titled? I don't remember. I'll leave it linked in the description below. Go watch it if you want. And basically this guy was shooting a video and saying that he was living in a tent for those days. He's a cheap traveler, as I am, and he was on a beach and he was showing the tent he was living in and he was explaining that that morning his camera got stolen. So he was in a very precarious situation at the moment, but still he wanted to say that he just decided to start a business with his friend. And he was saying that he was not prepared at all with all the things that were going on. He, of course, felt even less prepared, but still he wanted to start. And I was sitting on this couch and I was worrying so much about the fact that I should upload a video this week because some of the people following me expect me to publish a couple of videos a week because I won't have time this week to publish a very good planned video. But then I watched this Elias video and he inspired me so much. So I just took my tripod and I just thought, okay, I'm gonna shoot this video and publish it for my audience. So today I want to deliver to you this kind of value. I want to beg you not to fall in the trap of perfectionism or fear, because ultimately I think that perfectionism is based on fear. And fear is something that can poison our lives. So if you're not able to overcome your fears, you end up allowing your fears to prevent yourself to do the things you would like to do. And one of these things is usually traveling. So my friends keep telling me, and even the people I randomly meet, they keep telling me, oh, I would like so much to travel more, but um, I have this reason or this reason for not doing it. And ultimately these reasons are all based on fear. So they have fear of not having enough money, not having enough time, traveling alone because they don't have a partner. And I really want you to stop for a moment and think about it. Think about your fears. Is really worth it to not doing something just because it's not the right time or the right situation? I think in the end, you had just have to start. And then the situation will adjust, the timing will adjust, and you will find a way to make it work. 
When I started traveling, it has been a very difficult situation. I didn't know when to start. I was thinking, okay, I will stay a little bit more here and then I will plan my trips and then I will eventually buy a ticket and then blah, blah, blah. But you know what? For some reason, I managed to make the decision right away and I bought a ticket to another continent for one week later. And it was the best decision I could ever make. Same with the video I'm shooting now. I wasn't prepared for shooting a video. I don't have the good lighting. I probably wouldn't have picked this place. I'm not wearing makeup. I'm wearing, I don't know, the wrong clothing probably. I didn't prepare an outline, but still in this situation, this is the most I can do. So I just decided to do it. I'm frightened that no one will like this video. I'm frightened that I will end up talking nonsense. I'm frightened that the quality will be very bad. But you know what? I know that sometimes you have to take a risk. You have to take chances. And the more you risk, the more you will gain. So if there is something you have been procrastinating about for the few days or the few weeks or even the few years really after watching this video just close your computer or put your phone down and do it just start by the way i leave you the link of the video that inspired me in the description and i also leave the link to subscribe to elias limitless channel especially if you're following me for couch surfing or cheap traveling He's great about that. He has so many resources about that, especially his ultimate guide to sleep everywhere. I don't know, to free accommodation, I think it's called. Go check it out. Great content. Thank you, Elias. Bye.